here. Have you ever heard of the Ace of Spades? No, is he a bad guy? Uh, you can say that, he's a bad guy. He robs banks and trains, stagecoaches, express companies, and every time he commits a crime, he leaves behind a little reminder, an Ace of Spades. You know, actually that buffoon facade really borders on genius, but where the real genius came in is my discovery of his identity. You're forgetting. I'm highly trained in the specialized areas of espionage, super agent, spy type stuff. Mum is definitely the word. It's a spade, it's a spade, it's a spade. It's a That must mean that Elmer Barnes is the ace of spades. Hey, Miss Lana. Well, hi, Elmer. Do you know what today is? Well, I sure do. It's Tuesday. Well, it's not just any Tuesday. Oh. Is it the 4th of July? No. It's a special day that only happens to me once a year. Elmer, it's your birthday. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, how old are you? A fella never tells his age. Oh. Well, how are you going to celebrate? Well, I was going to have a party, but maybe next year. Well, I hear you got a telegram for me. Oh, I sure do, Cher. Thank you. Howdy, Elmer. Howdy, Cher. Looks to me like we got some special company coming to Dry Gulch. Yeah, I'm the wrong kind. Elmer, have you ever heard of the Ace of Spades? No, was he a bad guy? Uh, you can say that. He's a bad guy. He robs banks and trains and stagecoaches, express companies, and every time he commits a crime, he leaves behind a little reminder, an ace of spades. Well, I guess I better go warn Mr. Tutwater and start patrolling the streets. See you later. Miss Lando, what is an ace of spades? Well, Elmer, an ace of spades is the highest card in a deck of playing cards. Oh, you mean like old mud and go fishing? Well, uh, yeah, sorta. Huh. Well, if a fella starts leaving a card everywhere he goes, pretty soon he won't be able to play at all. Somebody must have lost them. Finders, keepers, losers, weepers. <laughs> wow, they're all laces. I can play gold fishing and never lose. This is great. <laughs> Mommy, he's got everything. Hey, Miss Lena, new oh, dress? Uh, yeah, it is. Looks really nice. Well, thank you, Nick. Nicodemus, guess what? What? Today is Elmer Barnes' birthday. No, you don't mean it. Why, he just had a birthday not more than a year or so ago, didn't he? Oh, Nicodemus. Well, anyway, I thought we'd get together and give him a surprise birthday party. You mean like a surprise birthday party? Oh. Yeah, that'd be great, Miss Lena. We can get him a great big old cake and, and punch, and we can have party favors and hats and them things that you blow on and put banners up all over town and invite all of Driven Springs County and Drago's County and have a big old parade and... Uh, Nicodemus, uh, are you going to pay for all this? Uh, well, maybe we just ought to have something with me and you and Gospel Bill. <laughs> well, don't worry about it, Nicodemus. I'll furnish all the party fixings if you get the present. Get the present. Okay, let me see. What can I get him? Um, I got it. How about a brand new fishing pole? Why, he's had that same old pole ever since he started on this show. I don't know. I, I think we ought to get him something more practical, like, uh, like maybe a shirt. Well, I bet that shirt he's wearing could stand up in the corner by itself. You reckon he's ever wore that shirt? Mm. Let's see, shirt. Okay, what size shirt do we need? It needs to, you know, he's he's about so so big and and and, and so long and and then he's got that little uh, and, well, it's really a, it's a great big and what size shirt is it? Oh, well, don't worry about it, Nicodemus. Here, take this tape measure and measure him. Measure him. Yeah, that that'll tell us. Okay, I'll go measure him. See you later. But, but, but wait a minute. Don't let him know it. Remember, it's a surprise. Oh, yeah, it's a surprise. We can't let him know. Okay, I'll be real sneaky, and he won't even know I've done it. Sure.
Sheriff, I hope this is important. I was right in the middle of a committee meeting when you requested my presence. Mr. Tutwater, I assure you that I wouldn't have called you here had this not been important. Now, I'm sure you've heard of the Ace of Spades. Sheriff, I didn't come over here to discuss card games, but yes, I'm familiar that the Ace of Spades is the highest card a deck of 52. I'm not talking about the card Ace of Spades. I'm talking about the outlaw Ace of Spades. The Ace of Spades? Yeah, I just got a wire that said the Ace of Spades is headed for Dry Gulch, and I think you ought to just be a little bit extra careful in your bank for the next few days. <laughs> Sheriff, he is the most notorious bank robber in the whole Southwest Territory. Now, what are you going to do? Well, I'm going to patrol the streets, and I'm going to keep a watchful eye on every stranger who enters into town. But don't worry about it, Mr. Tutt. What if he shows up? We'll get him. Oh, Sheriff, of all the places he could come, why Dry Gulch? I've got to do a security check in my bank. i got to go. Look, Mr. Tutwater, God is on our side, and if the Ace of Spades shows up here, we'll catch him. Oh, sure. I wish I could believe that. <laughs> oh, some people believe the worst about everything. Boy, it'd just be the biggest surprise if I ever got a birthday party. Dumb door. I was hoping to get a door latch for a present. And these cards. There isn't one old maid in there. They're all laces. And if I play go fishing, I see it once and I win. Oh, Dinky and Dinky, you sure are lucky you don't have a birthday. Nobody gives you presents. Nobody gives you a party. Hey, Elmer. Hey, Nicodemus. Hey, you need to get your door latch fixed here. Well, I was hoping to get it. Well, never mind. Hey, uh, how's fishing today? Well, I haven't gone fishing today. Oh, yeah? You know, today is my birthday. No, today is, is it? I was hoping to get a special gift. Uh -huh. You know, like a birthday party. Yeah, yeah, that'd be nice. Uh, hey, uh, Elmer, uh, hey. I bet you can't touch your ceiling flat footy. Oh, I can't do Nicodemus. I've done that lots of times. Can't neither. Can't do. Can't neither. Can't do. Can't neither. Watch this. Prove it. Oh, that's pretty good, Elmer, but you ain't quite doing it now. Stretch well, a little farther. I'm touching it. A little farther. Nicodemus, what are you doing with that dumb yellow fishing line? Uh, uh, it's a little, uh, game I'm playing. Yeah, a game, Elmer. Uh, uh, I tell you what, I can't tell you the rules, but, uh, uh, put this right up here and hold it with your finger, and now uh, just be real still and uh, yes, yeah, be still, uh, Elmer. Be still now. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'll come this way, okay? Yeah, okay. Elmer, now, Elmer, you got to be still now. Quit moving. Well, Nick and Demons, you don't have to get all upset. You didn't tell me the rules. It is my birthday, and you're supposed to be nice to me. I'm going fishing. It was a dumb game anyway. I don't see how anybody can win. Well, Hey, Elmer. Why, oh, give up. That Elmer Barnes is just too wiggledy and squiggledy to get a measurement on. But, Nicodemus, you said you could do it. Well, I thought I could, Miss Lana, but he don't stay still for more than two seconds at a time. Well, I'd just about get a measurement on his shoulders and he'd jerk over this way. Then I'd just about have his neck and he'd jerk over this way. It's just impossible. Miss Lana, Miss Lana, I've got to have something for my nerves. Do you have some kind of a sedative? Whatever you've got, I'll take a double dose. Uh, well, Mr. Tutwater, you know I don't handle those types of medicines. Well, that's for the druggist. He's out of town. What's the matter, Tut? Tough day at the office? You don't understand. It's the ace of spades. Well, now, I don't think you ought to get so upset over just a little card game. You hadn't been gambling again, have you now? Nicodemus, I'm talking about the... Ace of Spades, the most notorious bank robber in the whole Southwest Territory. Oh, you mean that outlaw that leaves cards every time he commits a crime? Yeah. Oh, well, oh, Tutwater, I don't have time to mess with your little old problems. Well, don't you understand that if I don't get Elmer Barnes' measurement, he ain't going to get a shirt for his birthday? Well, where's your priorities anyway? Nicodemus, you don't understand the gravity of this situation. I understand gravity just fine. Everything that goes up has got to come down. Yeah, excuse me while I try one more time to get a measurement on Elmer. Miss Lana, I can see it all already. My beautiful bank with no money in it. <laughs> Nobody cares. Nobody comes up and says, Happy birthday, Elmer. I just know I'm not going to get a party. Well, I, I could move away and, and they won't even miss me. Of course, 
At first, it would be kind of hard on Inky and Dinky, but we'd get used to it. We could start a new life, move out west next to a big pond and... I ah! news. Tell me you scared me. How'd you know it was me anyway? Well, I can tell your smell anywhere. Oh, here, hold this right up here, okay? And Nicodemus, I don't want to play this yellow fishing line again. And be still, Elmer. Elmer, be still. Elmer, will you just be still? Well, you don't have to holler at me. After all, it's my birthday. But you don't even care. I'm just going face it. Oh, Miss Lana, I just know the worst is going to happen. There's not going to be one penny left in my beautiful little bank. Now, Mr. Tatwater, you've got to stop always thinking about the negative side. I mean, you don't know that that's going to happen. Yeah, but we're talking about the ace of spades. He's never been to a town but that he robbed the bank. Now, listen. The Word of God says in 1 Peter 5, 7 that you need to cast your care upon the Lord, for he cares for you. Well, now, that sounds real sweet. But every place this guy's been, he's robbed the bank. And why shouldn't he rob this bank? Oh, I can see it all now. I walk into my beautiful bank. I approach the vault. I open it up. The silence is deadly. I go in. There's no cash. There are no certificates of deposit. There are no IRAs. There are no T-bills. There's nothing. The shelves are bare, except for one thing. The ace of spades. Oh, I just know it's going to happen. I know it's going to happen. <laughs> Glad to know we're all having a good day. Oh, well, let me guess. You didn't get a measurement. Oh, that's real good, Miss Lana. You're right. Well, that is the most physically active human being I ever saw in my life. It ain't no wonder his best friends are worms. He squirms just like they do. Oh, Miss Lana, I tried everything. I tried sneaking up on him. I tried getting behind him. <laughs> Nothing worked. It's <laughs> just impossible. Well, there's got to be some way we can get a measurement. I don't know what it'd be. I'd... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I've got it. Why didn't I think of this? I'll go over to his house and sneak in, go into his bedroom, and look in his chest of drawers and see what size he wears. That's a good idea, Nicodemus, but don't let him see you. Miss Lana, you're forgetting. I'm highly trained in the specialized areas of espionage, super agent, spy type stuff. Mum is definitely the word. Well, I think everything's just about as safe as it can be. But why me? Why Dry Gulch? Why my beautiful little bank? But if he comes, I'm going to be ready. Mr. Tallwater! Mr. Tallwater! Ah! Oh, Miss Taylor, Miss Taylor, I'm so sorry. I thought you might have been the ace of spades and notorious oh, bank robber. Sure. Listen, for your inconvenience, I'm going to give you an extra calendar. Oh. Now, you, you, you did come to make a deposit, didn't you? Oh, I came to make a deposit. But, Mr. Tutwater, I am going to make a withdrawal of all my money. Well, well maybe I could give, give you a little extra interest on your account. <gasps> I am going to go to a bank where they don't serve you with shotguns. Oh. I'll be back. <laughs> but, but, Miss Taylor, Miss Taylor. Good, he's not here. Let's see now, where does he keep his clothes? Oh, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, oh, there's a shirt, just like the one he's got. There's another one, just like the one he's got. Boy, sure, good thing we're buying him a new shirt. Hey, deck of cards. Reckon what kind of cards Elmer plays, probably. Go fish. Ace of spades, ace of spades, ace of spades. All these cards are the ace of spades. <sighs> that must mean that Elmer Barnes is the ace of spades. <sighs> I wonder what that ace of spades looks like. What a terrible...
terrible day in the life of Elmer Barnes. It's my birthday. Nobody cares. No party, no presents. Even the fish aren't about, not even a nibble. Oh, I'm glad this only comes once a year. I can hardly take the pain. I just guess nobody cares about old Elmer Barnes. Oh. Ooh. Gospel Bill, have I ever got some news for you? Yes, I, Nicodemus, through my superior detective type prowess, have figured out who the alleged ace of spades is. And Gospel Bill, it's sure a good thing you got me, because this is so bizarre, you would have never figured this one out for yourself. Are you ready? You know who it is? It's Elmer Barnes. That's right, Elmer. Gospel Bill. Go Gospel Bill. GB. Oh, he ain't here. He'll never figure this one out for himself. I gotta find him and tell him. Uh, no, I gotta find T.U. Tutwater, or he is in big trouble. Uh, oh, what a disguise. What a genius. <laughs> Mr. Tutwater. Ah! Mr. Tutwater, it's me, Nicodemus. Oh, well, what do you want? Mr. Tutwater, I have just discovered who the real ace of spades is. You have? Who is it? Elmer Barnes. Elmer Barnes? Give me a break. I mean, he's just a local town buffoon. Oh, yeah? What about these that I found in his dresser drawer? Huh? Deck of cards. Every one of these cards is the ace of spades. Meaning? You know, I believe that he is the real ace of spades. Oh, you are very perceptive, Mr. Tutwater. Well, you're right. You know, actually, that buffoon facade really borders on genius. But where the real genius came in is my discovery of his identity. Wait a minute now. Whose discovery? Hey, this isn't important. Listen, have you talked to the sheriff? Well, well no, I've been looking all over town for him, and I can't find him nowhere. All right, I've got an idea. It's up to you and me to apprehend that criminal. Let's go. Let's get him! That's it. This is my last birthday. Next year, I'm not even going to have one. I'm going to skip right over. Why'd they ever make that? Ah, we got him, Tutwater. We got the notorious Ace of Spades. Hold it. <laughs> Don't tell me. This is my surprise birthday party, right? <laughs> oh, sure. Elmer Barnes, that stupid facade. We saw through it all the time. Now, let's go. Yeah, come on. Not the Ace of Spades. You got the wrong man. Elmer Barnes, a notorious outlaw. And all these years, I thought you were just the local buffoon. Oh, oh, but Mr. Tutwater, I am the local buffoon. I'm not the Ace of Spades. Oh, yeah? Well, what about these here cards I found in your dresser drawer? Ace, 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 Ace. Ace. But I found those cards on the porch in front of the general store. A likely story from a lying outlaw. When are you going to own up to the truth? What in the world's going on here? Gospel Bill, we have captured the ace of spades. Here's the evidence. Where'd you get these cards? I found those cards in the dresser drawer of Elmer Barnes, alias the ace of spades. I don't know where Elmer got these cards, but you guys have made a big mistake. Here's the real Ace of Spades. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Elmer. Happy birthday to you. This is a great party. <laughs> All this time I've been pouting, thinking nobody cared it was my birthday. Boy, was I wrong. Well, I hope you enjoy it, Elmer. Oh, I am. Oh, and Elmer, uh, I got to apologize for not thinking the best of you. Why, I thought you was an ace of spades. <laughs> nope, I'm just a local buffoon. Miss Lana, what's a buffoon? Wait just a minute here, Elmer. We don't think of you as the local buffoon. Well, I'm not the ace of spades. Well, we know that too, but, well, Elmer, we love you. And the Bible says that if you love someone, you believe the best about them. And that's what we're all going to do from now on, right? 
Rob. Right. Hey, Elmer, what's that behind your ear right there? It's a... <gasps> Nicodemus, you're a genius. <laughs> <laughs> These exciting holiday gospel bill shows, T.U. Tutwater's Christmas and the Greatest Gift. T.U. Tutwater is trying his best to ruin Christmas in Dry Gulch. That might be true, but I am going to put a stop to all this holiday frivolity, and I'm going to start with the sheriff. Gospel Bill, Lana, and the folks of Dry Gulch throw a surprise Christmas party for T.U. Tutwater in T.U. Tutwater's Christmas. Will little Matthew Sullivan get to have Christmas this year? He's got a drunk for a father and no mom, so things aren't looking good. If I didn't steal that money, I wouldn't get anything for Christmas. Find out what happens and discover what is the greatest gift. This two-episode, one-hour videotape is ideal for Christmas parties or a gift. To order, rush $24.95 plus $275 for shipping and handling to Gospel Bill Christmas Video, P.O. Box 639, Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, 74013. For faster service, credit card, or COD orders, call our 24-hour hotline, 918-437-0494.